Hey folks, it's Brian and I'm working on my junkie truck. Uh, this is episode number 30 and I'm going to work on bypassing the glow plug controller. Um, I'm going to put a manual override button in as a backup. I think I'm going to replace the controller, but for right now I'm just going to override the stupid thing and move on because I want to get the truck on the road before I spend uh, more money on it. So, I've got this switch here. This was $7 at Lowe's. It's an AC rated switch, but I think it'll work. It just push button switch. It's nice and small and it's going to wind up right here and there's more than enough space for it down here on the side of the dash. So I've got the bezel pulled off right now to make sure that I can fit this in through here, but this is where it's going to wind up going. So what I'm going to do today is just kind of get it roughed in and get the wire run and just see that it works and it's just going to hang out here until I this is a 15 30 second inch hole i don't know why they can't just do half inch but whatever i don't have a 15 30 second inch bit and i don't want it to rattle around in here so yeah i gotta order i had to order one on amazon i'll put a link in the video um but it's gonna go right in here and um anyway so let's get started so the first thing we need to do is pull a wire and somebody Looks like they've done this. So I've got a wire, I've got a ground. I have no idea. Well, I think this is the ground. I have no idea where this goes. Um, we'll deal with that later. But, but anyway, this wire goes into the engine bay. And it comes out there and it just kind of snakes along and winds up over here, coiled up. You know, I, I have no idea what the hell is going on over here. So maybe that was a starter override. It's fixing to get cut short and I'm gonna use it to pull the other wire through. So first thing I wanna do is see where that actually goes through because all the rest of the wiring on this truck is very poorly done. And I have a hunch that does not go through where I want it to go through. So let me look at that. I need a flashlight, I'll be right back. All right, so I don't, can't find a flashlight, but I've got a, um, got a work bike. Uh, let me get this seat out of the way. All right, so where did we run that through? Oh, right there where the accelerator, or what is that? They used a bushing where there's some kind of a hose um, that comes through. So it's not a horribly bad spot. I don't know what the hell this little switch hanging down is. Uh, let me see what the black wire goes to. Well, the black wire was wire nutted to the wire we see in the engine bay and the center wire just goes over here and up under the hood. So I'm guessing that's the ground. What a fucked up ass installation. All right, well, let me uh, work on this. All right, sorry that's not a very good view, but this is just the view you're gonna work with. So the easiest way to pull a wire is to use the old wire um, to pull it with. And I've got this nice automotive grade wire that's going to replace that not nice, not automotive grade wire. And so the simplest way to do this is just twist these two and bring them back on themselves. Alright, so you want to wrap in the direction you're going to pull so that it doesn't catch. Really should be using scissors. Let me grab those. So that 
that should be good so I'm gonna pull that through electrical that's not messed up on this truck. hard on something. Southwest and their damn airplanes. Always flying through, making noise every three minutes. Oh, I see, they drilled a little hole. feed the wire through. Now we're just going to stuff this until it won't stuff anymore and because it's a nice pretty pink we'll be able to find it on the other side. What 
what in the holy hell is going on up here? Fucking shit ass rigged up wiring. What in the fuck? So this is the hose that came through. I have no idea what this does. We'll just leave it up there. Our wire. So we're going to pull that out and then fish it up and along the top of the. temperature rated wire. Um, we'll give it some abrasion protection, but that's the general neighborhood we want it in. Alright, so set this up here so it's out of the way. Be enough. That's going to get us where we need to be. Alright, I need to bring power to this. Yep, that'll work. So that's about the right length, so let me clip this. I'll put links to the tools that I'm using in here in the video description. Um, these are some of the best um, crimpers that I've used. They're WireFi brand. And then I can't recommend one of these enough. Quick and simple. Uh, what size is that one? Yep, that's the same size.
sorry the view is probably not that great um, but it's really difficult to work on this um, just it's, it's got good visibility and shitty access all right so that's our power So this supplies power to the relay. I think there's a second one of these up here. Um, so this supplies power to the computer and also to the relay. And again, we're just we're gonna bypass it for the minute. So you've got to have power to the relay and then the way this works is it grounds the um, the control is to ground it and that's what the computer actually does. And where was the other wire? Okay, so it can come off there. The weight to start light is hot at the dash, and this grounds it, and that indicates that the relay is operating. we should be good to go. We're going to test this. The way we're going to test is we're just going to ground out that terminal and see if it fires. So we'll put a test clip on here. Just let that hang. Let me turn the key to on. the ignition circuit that should be supplying power to this at this point and touching this should turn on the glow plugs. Yep. So now we just gotta clean up this and uh, let me turn the key back off. Nothing without power to ignition. That's what we want to see. All right.
anything in this truck. I'm just going to trim these zip ties. There's nothing. wire in tight places and this definitely qualifies. <clears throat> I 
was stupid. I should have brought the wire ties, zip ties down. This is hard enough to get in and out of here. But it's critical not to have loose wires underneath your dashboard. That's a cardinal no no. You don't have time to fuck with wires tangled up in your feet when you're driving. Those up. This won't be like the other one. There shouldn't be any pressure on it, so I don't need a big piece of tape. Don't need to tie knots. Just take the wire to the end of the fish stick and pull it through gently. This way, I'll be right back. Okay, so we don't need a ton of wire here, but we're going to leave a few inches to play with. Move this. That is heat shrink. And then we're going to use a different color for the ground. Now, if you trim too much, you want to shorten that. Let me get the heat shrink set up and shrink these. away and I'll be back in a minute. Alright. Again I'll be right back. Alright, so I got 
one more connector to do. 16 gauge wire. Uh, wire is coming from Wire Barn. They were one of the few places I could find this stuff that was quality. And uh, you can find them online. I think they're a small business. That's an awesome thing. Always like supporting fellow small businesses. So we're going to put this in and then we're going to heat shrink it. I want it nice and tight. Let me put everything away, and then we'll put the switch in and see what happens. I'm sorry it's a little Halloween for the lighting, but um, the only time it's not 100 in the hell with that outside is in the evening when it's getting dark. All right. So, let's see how much of this we can... There we go. We can kind of snap it back together. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, you guys can't see nothing. All right, run, glow. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six, thousand seven, thousand eight, thousand nine. Perfect. All right, so I'll call that a success. Uh, nice and simple. Uh, and again, we can just demo it. should start sounding good all right thanks for watching hope everybody enjoyed uh, tonight's video and uh, stay tuned for more of junkie truck restoration we're gonna make this thing work again